Hello everyone. Happy August. We are in the second. Yes. No, third. We're in the third week of August. August is almost over already. Like I say every time. I feel like my shirts have not been strong enough to hold my mic up. So I'm going to hold it today. And as always obligatory self-promotion please if you have not checked out my poetry book what if i were with the world poems inspired by music it's always linked in the description or linked in my link tree and also follow me on social media which is also linked in my link tree and in the description of every video but yeah if you want to help your boy out or follow your boy other places that would be great so today we're here to talk about the golden girls well I wrote flash fiction inspired by the Golden Girls. So, um, yeah, let's get into that. I don't have a Golden Girl shirt. I have a Golden Girl sweatshirt, but it's too hot. So, I don't have a shirt to wear. The last time I made this video, I was wearing my Golden Girl sweatshirt. So, it was, like, not in the summertime. But here we go. So, I'm going to read the old stories first, and then I wrote two new ones. So, the first one is in Dorothy's perspective. I can't believe the man I had given most of my life to had betrayed me. Not thinking of me or our children, just his own selfish desires. I could deal with him being a novelty salesman and his premature balding, but cheating was the last straw for me. Definitely a Dorothy moment to roast you. Uh, Stanley, do you have any idea what I have, what, have, what I have had to put up with for 38 years? All the struggles, all the hardships, just so you could treat me this way? I was fuming. I wanted to throw Stanley out of our second story window. But then I remembered prison. But I also considered maybe I would be tall enough to be intimidating. So my mind quickly snap, snapped back to reality. I've never seen my children and future grandchildren, but through a glass partition. I couldn't let this low down idiot ruin my life over his own mistake. No, I'd rather leave than make a huge mistake or a fool of myself. Babe, you know, things happen. I didn't mean for this to happen. We can work this out. Stan was on his knees. I wanted to cut his filthy lying tongue out. There's nothing to work out. You messed up. So I am leaving and that's final. I began to cry my had tears that my life was falling apart right in front of me. So this is definitely alternate universe Dorothy because in the show, his lawyer calls her. So he doesn't even tell her that he's leaving. He actually leaves her. So this is my alternate universe Dorothy where she got to tell him off and she got to leave. So next one is Blanche. I was in my fire truck red funeral dress looking at my beloved George in his favorite suit one last time. I couldn't believe a young beautiful woman like myself could ever be widowed but here I was. Of course Dorothy I mean Blanche is vain even in sadness. I thought George and I would grow old together. Of course, he would get older sooner than I would. But besides that, I thought we would be together until the good Lord took him home, took him in old age, not in a terrible car accident, and certainly not while I was getting a pedicure done. I think he would. Oh, I didn't think he would go at that very moment. I have a typo that I did not fix. I meant to fix that. You just never know how life will turn out. Big Daddy put his hands on my shoulder. Blanche, how are you feeling? Lost, Big Daddy. Lost. I said as I cried as he held me tightly in his arms. I don't know. I don't know what my life would be like. I don't know what my life will be like without George. Oh, would be like without George. I was truly lost. Um. So yeah, in the show, she was getting a pedicure when he died. And um, the girls were like, he was in a coma. She was like, he had been in a coma for days, which is crazy to me. Um, I would be there every single day. I would be by my husband's side. I would not leave him, but Blanche is Blanche. So. <laughs> um, it's, I know, like, I would, I've been on a subreddit. I'm on the subreddit for the Golden Girls. And I've been looking at different things as I've been watching the show and, like, re writing these stories. There were a lot of inconsistencies because I feel like at one point he died on the scene of the accident, maybe. 
And then, but later on, he was in a coma though. Or like, he was in the coma first and then, I feel like another episode, they kind of made it seem like he had died in the accident already. So yeah, so now we're on to Sophia. I couldn't believe my own daughter would leave me in this hellhole called Shady Pines. You think you go through something as traumatic as a stroke? Uh, so you think you go through something as traumatic as a stroke, your family will be there to care for you. Here I am surrounded by other people I still feel alone, but I still feel alone. How long would I be here? Will my kids come to visit me? Will anybody remember me? Dorothy says since she's going through a divorce, she's considered less stress to put on. This gives her less stress to put me, to put me here. But what about what I want? We could have been there for each other. Hey, lady, you want to play some gin rummy? Some old geezer asked me. Are you kidding, old man? I'm the best at gin rummy. Want to bet on it? I was feeling a little frisky, but not. But why not? It wasn't like I had anything else to do. Old man, huh? We'll see once we play. I got a table over there. He walked over to the table in the corner he had set up. I thought, well, even if I hate it here, I can at least make a few bucks gambling. Uh, that's one thing. They were always playing cards in the show, especially Jim Rummy. I don't know. The only thing I know is spades, and I'm not even that great at that. So I just... Unless it's like a like Uno or something, I don't participate, you know. Um, or I have tried to participate with my dad, but I said the card wrong and he just gave up on me. Because I forgot what the game was. We were playing some kind of game for money and I had to just watch because I messed up saying the card. Because I think I said Clover instead of Club or something. I didn't, and like, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I don't be playing card games, so I didn't really know which one it was. It was something that I said, I said seven clover or seven something, but it was a different thing. It was either a clover or a club, something I messed up. And then my dad just gave up on me. So I don't like that. But anyway, they, yeah, that was one of the things they were always playing. They were always playing cards just to pass the time. And I'm like, maybe when I get old, I'll learn about different card games. And well, well, my dad won't be alive probably. But maybe once I get like middle age, maybe my dad will finally let me play cards with him. So we'll see y'all. All right, here we are at Rose. I was watching my poor Charlie being wheeled away in the ambulance. I was so shocked. You never think lovemaking could be harmful. But poor Charlie had a heart attack. I was hoping that everything would be fine and no one would find out how he got sick. Back in San Olaf, it is very taboo to have such an intimate act result in such a tragic event. Uncle Higgerblotter, it might be Higginblotter, honestly. Had something similar happen. Him and his wife Ingrid were playing some naughty game and he jumped too high and knocked himself clean out. Poor Ingrid didn't know what to do. She just covered him up and called for help. Unfortunately, a crowd formed around her house once everyone saw the ambulance. But she told she first told everyone that he was trying to fix something on the ceiling. I spelled ceiling wrong. Need to fix that too. However, word soon got out that he was naked from one of the paramedics who liked to gossip. Poor Ingrid had to confess what really happened, and luckily Uncle Higginblotter ended up just fine. Just had to wear a helmet for the rest of his life. I hope Charlie will recover as well. He was praying and holding his hand the whole way to the hospital. I couldn't and didn't want to imagine my life without Charlie. So yeah, I mentioned in my short videos, like all of them are kind of uh, sad. So, But yeah, so I made uh, two more stories. I wrote two more stories. Uh, one involves everyone, and then one involves just two characters. So, so he's everyone's. Early morning, and the girls are getting ready, getting up for the morning. Rose is already dressed and ready for work. She's making cupcakes that look like cats. Rose, why in the world are you making cupcakes at 8 in the morning? Blanche says, looking over her shoulder hungrily. You know I'm volunteering at the Children's Hospital, so I figured I'd give the kids some treats. It's so sad. Children have to be treated for such horrible conditions. Rose shakes her head. Being old and young can be very similar, Rose, because you get fed mush during both times, and you can't tell time either, Sophia says as she walks in. Also, you don't have your own teeth, she adds. Rose sighs. Life just isn't fair. I learned that when my date's wife was brought back to life last night. They had just got it started, too. Those paramedics never give up. Blanche sips her coffee. 
Dorothy walks in excited. You guys will never guess who called. Kate, Sophia guesses. Ma, were you listening on the other line again? Dorothy glares at her mother. Like you never eavesdropped on my calls before. Remember you caught me and Gladys when we were trying to skinny, trying to go skinny dipping? Dorothy laughs. And good thing for you both because that swamp had gators. Dorothy continues. Kate and Dennis said they have a surprise they need to tell me. You think it's a baby? Rose said excitedly. Either that or they won the lottery, says Dorothy sarcastically. Either way, it'd be good news, Rose. Sophia nods. Rose laughs, and the girls gush about being grandmothers and great-grandmothers with fl flashbacks to funny moments with their grandkids. So, you know, they have those episodes where they be doing the flashbacks. That's kind of like the vibe I was trying to set up. And the last story is just uh, from Blanche and Rose together. Because there was an episode where Sophia was out and Blanche and Rose say that they talked to Sophia late at night and they have these heartfelt talks and Dorothy is like, when did this start happening? Because she had no idea. And they're sad because Sophia moved out because Sophia had like these friends that were like bad influences. So Dorothy was like, you can't hang out with them. So then you can't hang out. You have to follow these rules when you're under my roof. So then Sophia ended up moving out because she wanted to do whatever she want. She thought she was grown, even though she definitely is. She's like 80, so... But, you know, Dorothy was trying to look out for her mom. So this is Blanche and Sophia. Blanche is cuddled up with Sophia in her bed. They were having one of their late night talks, and Sophia always gave Blanche the best advice. Sophia, were you afraid to grow old alone? Blanche says. Sophia rubbed her arm as they cuddled. I used to, once Sal died. I thought I would never find anyone to love me like him. But now that I have you girls, I realized I have found love again. And I love you all. I was always afraid to never find a husband to love me again after George died. But you're right. We're family now, so we'll never be alone. Sophia kisses Blanche's forehead, and they rock together in peaceful silence. So yeah, those are my Golden Girls flash fiction stories. I hope you all enjoy them. Um, as you know, the Golden Girls are my favorite show of all time. So this was really, you know, besides the sad ones. Um, writing the two new ones was really fun because... You know, you get to imagine some scenes that never happened and some scenes they mentioned, but you don't know the background of. And um, I've also been on the subreddit a lot and like them talking about different characters. So it's nice to find like a community that is obsessed with the show like you are. And I know a lot of people love the Golden Girls. So yeah, if you love the Golden Girls, let me know. Um, if you have a favorite episode, least favorite episode. Last night they played my least favorite episode, which is the one where... Dorothy and well, Blanche invites Dorothy to go to Rusty Anchor and Blanche, not Blanche, Dorothy sings and then she gets more popular. So then Blanche gets jealous because I get like secondhand embarrassment from that episode. It's kind of cringy to me because I'm like, girl, you really try. Um, and then what will be my favorite episode? Um, I'm trying to think. One of my favorite episodes I would say is when Rebecca comes to visit and they're doing they're talking about the insemination. It's just so funny because they like all are just grossed out, but yeah, you know, eventually, of course, Dorothy, I mean, Blanche comes around to it and, you know, and then when Rebecca does go into labor, everybody's supportive. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm trying to think of what other episode would be my favorite. Um, I will say another least favorite, though, is when Michael gets married to the black woman. It's very weird. Uh, it's a little racially undertones from both uh, Dorothy and um, Lorraine's mom. So it's a little weird. Uh, but my other favorite, I'm trying to think of another favorite. Oh, when Rose gets the dog and then she takes the dog to the hospital and he cheers up the patients. That's a really cute episode. Oh, also when Rose meets her dad, who's a monk, which is so crazy. You're a monk and you got a kid. Uh, that one was really fun, especially when she like offered him something in the hospital that he didn't have so she was like now we're even so it's just a really funny episode so those are um some of my least favorite and favorite episodes so let me know in the comments do you hate the golden girls do you love the golden girls what's your favorite what's your least favorite episode let me know let me know what's golden girl you are i already made a video about that but yeah let me know in the comments and i will see you all next week